Ooh. Welcome everybody to the Board and Scale podcast. We have another great show for you guys today. <laughs> uh, Kenzie is laughing because she's having a great time already, just like I hope you guys will. Uh, so first all, first off, first all, first off. Okay. Weird first energy off, tonight. Weird energy tonight. I don't know why. First off, happy new year. It is now the year 2024, 2024. That feels really weird. It is crazy. 2023 is in the past. And as well as the year being in the past, our previous 10 by 10 <laughs> is also dead and in the past. It is gone. It never was completed. It did not fulfill any of its hopes and dreams. I think we played like some of them, not at all. We played probably one or two of them, not a single time. Um, and so instead of showing off uh, our failure, I decided to just wipe the board and, and we redo it. And that's basically what we're going to talk about for this episode is uh, our new 10 by 10 that we are a lot going more to accomplish that we're going year. to accomplish this year, unless we don't. And we're very hopeful about that. And I think we picked, or at least me, I picked some games because last year I kind of picked games that I thought we can get these played. I, this year I was like, I'm just going to pick games I want to play. Mm -hmm. And honestly, with our group, um, with even just the Black Potion thing, kind of cheating if like one of us doesn't play, but whatever. I'll count it. Uh, no. Yeah. No. Uh, do I think I'm going to get anyone to want to play Tricarian at Black <laughs> Potion? Probably not. Oh, what's that giant game you have? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to take five hours? Ah, no thanks. I don't think Tricarion would take that long. I mean, with us at least. If I if I have three new people to that's teach. what I'm saying with us because we both know it. Even Kev. Yeah, I mean, yeah, with us three, it, it'd be fine. Mm -hmm. I don't think Dwayne has played it yet. We can teach him though. That's yeah. not that hard. But, anyways, we're gonna go into our selection. So, I don't know if you can see the names. I don't think you can. But if you can, the purple ones are Kenzie's selections. And the black ones are mine. We'll throw a close-up, just a close-up picture. Do you have a reasoning behind your picks or same thing? Um, a lot of them are ones I just want to play. Um, I think all of my top... No, I'm missing Obsession. Um, but most of my top five is on here. You picked two of my top five, so I had to, like... Hmm. There were others that I had to think about, but these I are did. just games that I enjoy. I didn't pick my top five... Because I know I'm gonna, I know we're gonna play them, and I also don't want to subject really everyone else to having or feeling like we have to play. Thank you for not putting dominant, dominant species, species <laughs> ten times when normally it is an annual. Twice a year, once on your birthday and once on Father's Day. That's news to me, but okay, I'll take it. It has happened almost every year. Number one. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. It is in the same exact spot that it was last year. It is. I did remember that. It was the last one I erased. It was the top <laughs> one. And Kenzie immediately wrote it in there again. So this one, I was super upset that wasn't in Sebastian's top five. I, it was close. It was close to mine, too. But I thought you were going to pick it. So that put it on the photo. I'm really upset about it. So <clears throat> I'm actually really excited to play this a lot this year. It's such a good game. And we played it the other night, and it just renewed my love for it. Yeah, and, and we also played with um, the event cards, mm -hmm. and they have different, you can play with like one to four of them, depending on how, how many different things you want happening each round. And I think for us, the added risk of maybe some negative things coming out, some bonus stuff coming out, just the like extreme variability that's available through those extra events mm -hmm. makes it a lot more appealing and makes me want to play a yep. lot more because... Once you've played the base game a couple times, it does feel a little bit samey, unfortunately. The variance in your playing is going to just be the dice that are pulled out and rolling and rolled by each player. And also, oh, I guess the animals that are coming out, yes, but I guess really with the base game, we've played with, my goodness, what are they called? The There's events. There you go. Jesus. Yeah. Um, we've played with those almost every single time we've played. So I think that that definitely... Other than like the first two times. It definitely helps it. Yeah. 
Yeah, just that added variability. You know, the added. I know people don't like randomness. I I like the way that the events do it, and where like, you know, you're affected by random things. Sometimes they're really bad, and sometimes they do really affect you hardcore. But and then sometimes you get really lucky, like three turns in a row. Yeah, but, but it absolutely screws you on the last one. So yeah, but it also doesn't make your round or your turns meaningless. You you do have to adapt and prioritize other things. Sometimes you get really unlucky, and like the last time we played, the last round, two of my sets of animals I was trying to do, you were not allowed to do expeditions for them, and I was like, okay. I guess I'm going to do something else. But it doesn't take, take away like any enjoyment for me. So I'm really excited to keep playing it. Me too. Yeah, and to play it at least 10 times this year. For sure. Yeah. We have to. Yeah. You're and not, not that it really matters because I don't think that game is on BGA, but for the most part, uh, we're only counting live plays. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just because I know some people are like, they also won't count BGA plays or any kind of online plays. But yeah. Number two. That's your pick that I talked about mostly. You did, but it's okay. So my pick is. You really Arc- don't remember. Arc this is two Nova. seconds ago. I know, right? <laughs> my pick is Ark Nova. That's my first pick. I knew he was going to pick it, which is why I did not pick it. At some point. And so I said, I countered her and I was like, well, you know what? Then I'm going to pick it early <laughs> and then make you change your mind. Um, but no, also, I've, if you've paid attention to the Instagram story, Lately, I have been I have been obsessed with this game lately, and honestly, I I feel like it creeped into my top five almost immediately after we did that that video or that podcast podcast episode where we talked about him. Um, but yeah, I'm just really loving it. I'm enjoying playing all the different maps, trying out different strategies. I love the the difference in strategies that you have to play based on the. Uh, action cards that you draw Mm -hmm. from the draft because of marine worlds because of marine worlds Mm -hmm. like it heightened the game a lot ultimate expansion expansion of the year for me yeah you know we don't play many expansions but that one if you if you have arc nova if you like arc nova and you're starting to feel like oh this kind of uh, boring repetitive marine worlds freshens it way up Mm -hmm. and the map pack as well if you don't have the map pack i went through my obsession of this like two months ago where i like I played it like five different times in a week, and I thought that was a lot. You played that. You played Marine Worlds without me. Mm-hmm. So when you were talking raving about it, I was like, I hey. guess. I was like, I guess. You know, it's a cool game, but man. And then this last month, we played it four times in a row. Four days straight. For four days straight. Yeah. And really, we missed like one day before that, and it was like three times in a row before that. So yeah, we yeah. played it a lot. It went from, I don't know, maybe like number six on the list to number one for most plays, mm-hmm. not counting BGA plays. Um, but yeah, that's my first pick. I'm excited to keep playing it. I don't feel like it's going to get old for me anytime soon. So really excited. Love seeing all the... I also love when, just as a quick one more thing. Oh, who forgot it now? One more thing. I love when we see a card that we've never seen before, you know, because it still happens. There's a thousand cards in there, you know. Anyways. Okay. Kenzie's number two. Number three is Ano 1800. So I've I've talked about this game quite a bit. Um, It's no secret that it's one of my favorites. It's a Colt Carly classic. Like, I don't know. I just, I love it. And I'm excited to play it more. This isn't one that is like insane. I just, this is one that we can bring out and play between the two of us in like less than 45 minutes now. Yeah, probably 40 minutes, um, especially with like sometimes my cards. My cards. I'm a person that if I can end the game fast, I will end it. Drives me insane. Yeah, it's I do insane. not drag out But because she's better at long-term planning. But even though it's one of those games where I'm not super crazy good at, I just enjoy playing it. I like the, it's easy and you just... It's got quite a bit of player interaction because you're using what the other player has. Yeah. Even though you're not you're not like affecting each other at all. It's like a weird it's it's still such a satisfying mm-hmm. trading mechanism mm-hmm. or like interaction mechanism where you feel like, Oh, I'm so glad you did that thing, so now I have access to that. Yes. Yeah. So that was my number three. Or our number three. Yeah. 
I'm really excited. Not not a huge amount of variance in there, but it's a very it's a very tight game. Do you remember your next one? I do. It's Castles of Burgundy. It is Castles of Burgundy. Yes, and I picked it um, because I like the game. I like it a lot. Again, there's a lot of variance in it. The last time we played it, maybe the last two times, I don't think we played with the um, the Vineyards expansion. Mm-mm, we also we've had, we've had new people, yes. so we haven't been going straight into that. Yes, and we also have not ever played with that last part, last like add-on module, whatever. I forgot what it's called, Merchant something. I don't know, Merchant? but it's those extra tiles with the dice numbers on them, and they have like actions on them. It's yeah, a, we definitely haven't played with that. It's an add-on <laughs> we haven't played about? with. It's like the last, you know, piece that we always leave in the box. Because I just have to learn how to add it on. Um, but other than that, also a great game. You know, round by round. The it's my number one. There's 40 maps in there to play. So, you know, lots of different ways to start and, you know, go through your game. And the tiles themselves, you know, they allow, allow for a lot of variance round by round when things come out and don't come out and what specifically is available and what someone takes before you can get to it. Yes, I'm still upset I don't have the acrylic tiles. <laughs> still upset. But can't wait to keep playing it. It's a great game. And now, it, it, you know, it looks beautiful now. So that's my number two. No, it's number four. It's number four total. Well, I tried to do that in the other one. And you were like, my number three. No, I did it. Never mind. You I, did because I said you're. I said mm-hmm. you're number two. Okay, that's my bad. I think the next one I put was revive. I'm like ninety five percent positive. It is. It is. I was right. I know the next two. Um, actually, I lied. <laughs> I don't know what I put for the last one. Anyway, anyway, anyway. anyway. Um, <clears throat> the next one I picked was revive. Um, so this is a game that we've played. I've played it a few times. Um, you've played it a few times. We've I've each played it without yeah. each other. Yeah. Um, it's just one of those games that I want to learn more about. So I already like it, and I've only played it once or twice, or I guess two or three times. But I want to play it more, and I like it. Yeah. So that's I'm why I made it on on the top ten. Well, I'm excited to do the uh, if we're gonna do like it's on the ten by ten. We're gonna have ten plays. We may as well do the little mm-hmm, the little campaign. Yeah, so we can unlock those other characters and do the upgraded side of the, the characters. The upgraded side of the characters. There's a lot of variability with this game, so I'm pretty excited about yeah, that too. I really like that. It's another thing where you have starting characters that each have different abilities. Even their tech trees are slightly mm-hmm. different, right? But the action cards that come out, it, it's weird because it's like deck builder, but. Like, you're not, not really building deck a deck. Builder. You're going to mm-hmm. end up with, like, nine cards, maybe, it feels like, unless you're going hard on getting cards. Um, maybe more than that. I'm not sure. But it is, there's a lot of variance in it still, even though we're only playing, like, the base, base, base game. Mm-hmm. And I really, really like that You it starts just white, right? Because it's all ice-covered lands that you haven't discovered yet. And then it slowly starts to get like Thought different out. things on it and you're thawing out the land. Like you're reviving the land. Yeah. Um, and it just gets like super pretty near the end. And you're like, holy cow, like this game just transformed. I would say super pretty. Okay. Cause like, it's still, I think it's pretty. It's still a little bit bland. It's not, it's a lot more bland than the cover would suggest. It's like darker greens and stuff like that, but I really enjoy it. The, I mean, the art is, it's fine. I don't have any special, like, care about the art. But the game is good. So I'm excited to play the game. Yep. Ten times. So that was number five. Number you you six. I don't remember this one. I remember the last two. Oh. This is the one where you were talking about wanting to play a new game. And then you picked one that we've already played. Underwater Cities. Yep. <laughs> Mr. Vladimir Suki. Mm -hmm. We actually have had that game for a long time. and We have the expansion and have still never played it. And we've had the expansion for years. Yes. And that that game, the base game, was one that we muddled through the very first time we ever played it. Before we were like really big gamers. Clank was like our big game at the Mm -hmm. time. Yeah. And so that one was a little bit, what the heck? This is way too much. This is different. Way too complicated. Now... Now we can pull that out and play it and just go. Mm-hmm. Because at the, I don't know when we played it, maybe a year ago or something. 
and I was so, oh, we have to relearn this, but I want to play it, make sure, like. That wasn't a year ago. That was a couple months ago. Not too long ago, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, oh, maybe we maybe it's time to get rid of it, right? Let's play it and then and then decide. And we played it, and we're like, never mind, we're keeping this. <laughs> because this our brains staple. have advanced, and now it's a game that we can kind of understand the, me- the mechanisms of it just based on not our cumulative knowledge of all the other games we've played. Turns out I really like that game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was a really good one. And yeah. I'm glad we played it again. Yeah. And I and I, I was like, you know what, we don't play that enough. So I'm gonna put it on here. We're gonna play it. Play with the expansions. Oh. That's one of those things. Like, oh we have to learn it, but it's really I don't think it'll be bad when we get into it. I just Yeah. It's always daunting. I'm not good with new It's sometimes. always daunting to learn the new stuff, yeah. But that's number six. Okay, number seven, which was my second to last pick. I chose one this time that was less hardy, right? I wanted it to be one that was more simple to pull out. Um, the one that we could be like, I don't want to play a big game right now. And we could just pull this one out and still be a count for our 10 by 10. And it's also, I've only played it once and I've been begging to play it again. And it just hasn't gotten out yet. Um, is the Fox Experiment. That was another bigger one for this year. A lot of people were talking about it um, when we went to PAX. Um, it's it's not even our game. It's actually Allison's game that she just leaves here. Yeah. But um, it was one of those ones where she hadn't gotten it yet, and they had copies for sale at PAX, and she was like, hmm. Yeah. But then she literally got it, I think, the day before we got back. Oh, yeah. It got to the door. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it got delivered while we were gone. So that was that was super exciting, and I finally got to play it, and I, I really liked it. Um, I think it's fun making your own little pups, and then you can use your pups to make more pups. Yeah, I think what threw me off is, is that you cheated the entire game the last time we played. I still didn't win. And so, like, yeah, but I was, like, just so demotivated by it. Oh, the shut no, I'm up. Just no, it's a, cute, it's a cute game. You know, it is, it is essentially a gigantic roll and write. Right? Essentially, gigantic roller. But it's a cool game. Like Kenzie said, the foxes are cute. And depending on uh, your player, your color, um, you have unique little foxes. Mm-hmm. They're really so cute. Slightly, you know, slightly different uh, features that they have. But but it's still a good game cute. for one that is not. Yeah. And it's nice to have. It doesn't like, take two and a half hours to play. Yeah, it's nice to have some, some easier one or one easier one on there. I think that's the only easy one on there, to mm-hmm. be honest. I would uh, see for me. I think Anno's easy. Okay, that's true. That's so true. Anno's it's a different uh, type Anno's of Anno's. easy. Yeah. All right. On to my pick mm-hmm. that I definitely remember. Number eight. It is Kanban. Oh, yep. EV, electric version, I think, or or Eagle version because it's Eagle Griffin Games. Every thing you like about a game. Every villain is lemons. What? If you understand that reference, like the video. Because he doesn't understand it. But Kanban EV, right here, a Lacerda game. It's a big old game. I was recently looking at a a thread on Reddit that I don't remember who posted it. Credit to you, strange (laughs) fella. (laughs) Or woman. Or fella. What's the female version of fella? Fillette? Wow. Probably not. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> Kanban EV is a game where you are a car manufacturer employee <laughs> and you are going around the factory trying to do different things with the vehicles, making sure that you are appealing to the boss's wishes or the floor supervisor. While well, the floor supervisor chases you around yes, and, and takes is, things from you. Her name is Sandra and she punishes you like heck. <gasps> but Her name is Sandra. That is yes. so funny. That is... She's talking, so just quick reference. I know exactly you're talking about Superstore. Yes. Okay. That's funny. So if you guys watch television, uh, there's a <laughs> show on Peacock called Superstore. And one of the characters in the show, her name is Sandra. She's definitely not the floor supervisor. She gets incessantly bullied for the entire six seasons of the show. No, not the entire six. Pretty much. No, I mean, maybe, Dina bullies everybody. Uh, maybe not the last like four episodes when it's all just like. No, the last season, goody. she is Dina's best friend, remember? 
and, who, and she's still getting bullied. Dina's mandatory best friend who is still getting yelled at. Great show, though. Very, if you like uh, happy endings. Oh, my God. Wait, she is the floor supervisor at the end. Remember? Yeah. She's all grown up. <laughs> but uh, in Kanban, Sandra <laughs> is evil. She takes away points from you. She wants if she, you don't meet her expectations. She has gigantic expectations, and you have to time your actions in a very specific way. But so you don't get targeted. So you don't get targeted. But it also depends on what the other players do because you might move down the floor, and she walks into another room, and the other player is there filling it up, and she's like, "Man, this is too busy. I don't want to be in here. I'm going to move down to the other room." And then you're like, "What the heck? Now my timing's all messed mm-hmm. up." But great game. Regardless, I don't even know what to say about the mechanism. This is essentially worker placement. Yeah. M- worker moving. I don't know. Because you just move your worker down, do an action. A lot of different stuff in that game, honestly. Uh, it's if good. you look, look up a picture, there, you'll be like, whoa. It's good. It's still a really good game. Yeah. Great game. I want to play a lot more. I want to play a lot of our heavy games more. So the bottom, and I started thinking about that when we're doing this. So the bottom part of my list is a little heavier. Now, number nine. Number nine. My last pick. Um, so I went back and forth with this one um, just because I didn't know if I wanted to pick a newer one or pick one that I know that I love. Um, but I ended up picking one that is actually on my top five. Um, I really enjoy the game. I don't really know if you like it that much, but I really like it, and I ask to play it all the time. Um, so now I am forcing you to play it, and you can't tell me no. Uh, and that would be Boon Lake. So we actually just picked up an expansion for it that I'm pretty excited to use. Um, just to see how it changes up the game a little bit. It makes vases a little bit more valuable. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty excited for that. I like the game. I like the mechanism of it. Um, mechanisms of it. Yeah. Um, the action the action mechanism is cool. I really like action it. Action selection. I really like it. Um Another one of those that you can just skirt your way down the lake and end the game really quickly, but it can screw you over in the end. It's also, um, you have to, the actions that you're taking are the different cards that you can play as well, while also having to manage your money, because money is resource, having to manage your other resources. I just, I just all around really like this game. Um, the theme is weird, but the game is. So, I'm very excited to play that. Ten times. <laughs> yeah, I, I think my only apprehension with some of the times where you're like, oh, let's play Boon Lake, is that we haven't played it enough to where it's cemented in my head. Really? Yeah. Oh, it is for me. The and only I, thing that I gets like me sometimes is the cows. Yeah. It's a point. And a little bit, just a tiny, tiny bit set up. It's, it's got a little bit more during setup, but we have an organizer. Yeah, that's totally so it's fine. it's simpler. Yeah. I am. I don't. I, blech, I also am excited for the expansion, mm-hmm. the vase thing. There's a separate little river that's going to have other actions on mm-hmm. it. I don't really know. We haven't looked into it too much, but maybe we play Blue Lake a couple more times before throwing in the expansion, just kind of warm up. But I we'll agree. see. We need to teach it to Kevin Dwayne. So, yeah. Well, just in general, for them to play all of our games with us. I mean, that's on the top five, so they're going to play it. Boone is? Mm-hmm, it's my four. I don't remember that. All right. Number 10. This is my pick, my last pick. And it's another one of those. I want to play my big games, you know, and Tricarion. Mm-hmm. Magician game where Even you're. Even though I don't think Tricarion is really that big. I don't. When you add in everything that comes with it, maybe. Yeah, all the add ons and stuff. If you do go- Dog Guards Academy, that's huge. Like <coughs> it's a whole extra sideboard. So, sure. Again, though, I want to play the game the base game a few more times to kind of warm up my brain before jumping into that because we used to actually have we have the special edition I don't think you can see it but it's up on top of the shelf we used to have the base game and Tricarion might have been our first like super heavy game because I, I think I think we played it wrong which is why we thought it was super heavy like Ark not Ark no, Underwater was like a step up and I think that was our next huge step I can't remember maybe it Maybe Abyss was another mid-step. Uh, Abyss was not anything crazy. No. I remember... I remember, Or maybe that was like our one that helped us get into the bigger stuff. 
I don't remember. We've had that since 2018. But we have the special edition now for Tricarian. Dog Rides Academy. The other one, the cat. Dark Alley. Dark Alley, which is not. Dark Alley is like just an, it's it's like an a expansion, but it's more of a like module. Mm-hmm. And I'm just really excited to put it back on the table and get better at it. Test out new strategies. Yeah. Learn a bunch of tricks. I do want to see Dog Rides Academy, how that affects the game. Because I know it changes a lot of, like, action priorities. Yeah. But, very so cool. So, that is our 10 by 10 for 2024. We'll do another video in a couple of months to kind of update. update. Maybe, um, maybe like, in June. No, that's too far. Okay. Like, maybe March. Like quarterly updates. Yeah. Kind of thing. Um, just to kind of show you where we are. We have colored meeples to, for who's winning, who yeah. wins the game. Um, we have green for Allison. I don't know how many she'll she'll get on here, but we'll see. We'll we see. We'll see. So yeah. When you see the whole board is purple. That's actually not funny because I just <laughs> the the whole playing Arc Nova a lot recently, I think I won like five out of seven of those. Yeah, you did really well. So I'm really sad those are not going on there. He won three in a row, and then I won two in a row. We almost did our Arc Nova 10 by 10 in a week. Uh-huh. Kind of crazy to think about. And for no reason other than I would just Sebastian's wake up. Sebastian's just obsessed with the game. Now. I would just wake up and be like, you want to play Arc Nova? I was also off work for a while. And you were off work for a while, holiday schedules, right? But that was a game that I hated setting up. Now I'm used to it. Mm-hmm. So it's easy. And for some reason, the shuffling sleeved cards freaked me out. But I don't know why. Now, well, because I didn't even think about shuffling them long ways. It's so, it's so much easier with those cards like that, with the sleeves. The regular way, they get all, like, jammed up. Yeah. So I just I push it. them together. Yeah. I still do the little, you know. Anyways, that was our 10 by 10 for 2024. Um, some other things we're excited for in 2024. Obviously, the podcast, keeping up with the channel, Biggest project is the Battle of the Games. Mm, I'm so excited to get into this. We have already played one of the games, and we accidentally lost the audio for it, which really, really sucks. Um, so we'll have to, we'll most likely end up redoing that video. Yeah. But um, I'm just excited to play all of the games and to teach the rest of our group some games that are just very near and dear to my heart. Um, because they haven't they haven't played a lot of them like. They played Castles of Burgundy for the first time with us not too Which long is, ago. I guess it's not crazy. Like No, that is insane. That game has been out for so it's been out. long. And it's it just, is just so, so ugly, though. It, it was. It was ugly. But now it's beautiful. I'm not going to say F you, Kevin. I'm not going to say it. Because he got the, the acrylic hexes. Yeah, the tiles. But, but either way, I'm just I'm so excited to play that and to get into playing some games that like there are top games, and I also get to play new games. All of Dwayne's, except for Wonderland's War, are brand new to me. Oh, that's on his list, right? Mm-hmm. Wonderland's, I forgot about that. We should be getting that. That's the sleeper agent. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <clears throat> wow, that's crazy. I'm really excited. If you trust shipping notifications. Usually, we've been pretty lucky. I'm really I think we've had one or two, like, oh, it's delayed. But yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah, that'd be cool. The Battle of the Games thing. And, and honestly, I think that's probably our biggest thing. We do have, uh, tentatively, we were invited to do a panel. Oh, I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. At uh, the 210 Game Con. Yeah. Just got a, a brand new board gaming convention coming to, or going to be hosted here in San Antonio. Well, it's in, isn't it up in New Braunfels? I think it's up in New Braunfels. Oh, Shirts. Shirts. There shirts. you go. It's actually in Shirts. But it is based out Texas. of the San Antonio area by 210 GameCon mm-hmm. on Instagram. If you want to go and find some more information, and I'll put their link down below as well. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we got invited to do a panel there, which I think will be really cool. Kind of our first live episode. Our first live experience. We don't know yet if we're going to do podcast or just open some it other up for fun thing. Q&A. Yeah. I haven't decided yet. It really depends on if there's more than like our family there <laughs> to watch. I think that was the first thing I said was, uh, was um, I don't know if anybody will show up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who wants to watch us? <laughs> yeah. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, with that, we're excited to continue to do all of the content that we do because um, I know we do so many posts on Instagram. For, yeah, it's my fault. I am excited to start being better about it. We have re, uh, we've kind of re-upped our board game activity in the last few months, and especially with the podcast getting going now, it's a lot. The podcast uh, and finding people that really want to game with us. Is yes, yes, that is a huge motivator. So, yeah, I think we're hoping maybe by the end of the year that the YouTube channel will have 100 subscribers. Mm -hmm. I think that's doable. I think that's exciting. That's really exciting. Yeah, and I hope. Uh, I think we're hoping for the Instagram to hit a thousand. Yeah. So, Nothing if you crazy. watch this video and you like us, if we've made you laugh, <laughs> if you've had to drink water at some point during this episode, why don't you like and share? You know. Yeah. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Comment. Please, tell if us. You like the tell video. us what you think. What you want to see. Leave a comment. That's probably my yeah, favorite. Yeah. Twenty twenty four ideas. Let us know what you guys want to see. That uh, and honestly, the comment thing is is like probably the most exciting thing to mm -hmm. me when I see someone commented on the video. I just love the engagement, you know. Yeah. But yeah, you just want someone to laugh, someone to laugh at you. That's all you want. That is true. That's why I get so I get stage fright though, which is why we have to do this show in front of a camera normally because the camera doesn't react to you. But yeah, just some things we're excited for, and I hope that you guys continue to tune in and. Hopefully our people will be back for the next one. Yeah, uh, that's another thing. You I won't forgot. just have to deal with the two of us. Yeah, I forgot to mention the absence of the fellas, but hopefully they'll be back. back. Yeah, it's holidays. It's holidays. You know, you know our kids were sick for a while, so no, that's true. Not something we wanted them to be de dealing with, especially with holidays and going to see family and stuff. Yeah. But with all that said, thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next time. Yeah. So, play some games. Eat some snakes. And read some books. Goodbye from Bye. us. <laughs>